let's talk just a little bit about the software or the app that's going to come with your Harmony Pro Remote. Now this is a very nice added benefit for several reasons. The first one being that remember the Logitech Harmony Pro Remote is rechargeable, does have a battery. So let's say for instance one night you forget to put it in the dock. Now your physical remote battery has died and you think you do not have access to your system, but you do as long as you have the app installed. Now currently we are viewing this on iPad. It is available through the Apple Store for iPad and iPhone or if you have Android device, whether it be a tablet or a smartphone, is also available from the Google Play Store for free. Now notice it's gonna be very similar to the actual physical remote itself, which is another benefit. Plus, you can actually go in here and make changes to the system itself through an interface that you're already familiar with. Some people might not like doing it on the remote because it is a little bit smaller. Doing it on a tablet is going to be a lot easier on the eyes and everything is going to be a little bit more spread out so a little bit easier to find. So notice the layout is going to be very similar. We'll notice over here on the left hand side we do actually have all of our activities buttons and then all of our physical buttons located at the bottom of the remote are going to be right here in the middle of the app. So let's start up here at the top. We do have our watch TV. Now the Watch TV is an activity that has two devices associated with it. Most of these activities are. So for instance, when you turn on the TV, it's also going to turn on your cable box or in our case, our little Joey for the Dish Network. Um, it'll also work with DirecTV, ATMC, Spectrum, any of the other services around too. It can be programmed into this top one. Right beneath that we have streaming services. Now we actually have the Apple TV hooked up in the front of the store on this particular Sony TV and in this system, but you could also put a Roku streamer in, or if you have a Fire TV from Amazon, that will also, or could also go in here as well too. Can be a different activity. Some people like myself have an Apple TV as well as an Amazon Fire Stick. So both of those can be set up as separate activities as well too. Beneath that we have our Heos. So we can listen to music and change any of the controls in here for the music, check out what we're listening to, switch the music around, different playlist, and beneath that, watch a movie. This will be for a DVD player or in our instance, we have a Blu-ray player up at the front of the store associated with this system too. Now down here at the bottom, edit activities. So when you hit edit activities, you can actually come in here, change different stuff around, you can add additional activities and additional devices in here too exit back out of that and then our middle once again is going to be basically all the physical buttons on the remote control so you have your play your rewind your guide your menu um, any kind of closed captioning you want to turn on or turn off can be done here also some of your routines that you have here at the bottom with those color coordinated buttons that can be reprogrammed or or edited that way you if you have any for instance um, lighting controls in your house some Lutron or if you have any smart plugs that can be added on there or if you want to add in some different activities so multiple things will work together at the same time create some different scenes to where multiple different lights will dim or turn back on uh, that can be done in these buttons as well too and then over on the right hand side we do have our device list so we can tap on it now sensors up here at the top can be Let's say for instance you have a Nest system at your house and you have a Nest doorbell camera and a Nest thermostat. You can actually program those in here via the network or your IP to be able to control those devices through the app too. So you can uh, raise the temperature up or down or you can check out what's going on in your camera. Some security systems through Nest also are able to be programmed in here too. Like for instance your uh, glass breakage sensors or any of your contacts on the windows or motion detectors can be changed in here too. Beneath that we have all of the devices that we currently have associated with the system. So our Apple TV, our Blu-ray player, our Sony TV, the Joey for the Dish Network, and then our zone controls. Now remember this remote is multi-zone so if you have for instance speakers in the great room and the bedroom as well as the lanai or patio out back. You can have all of them playing the same music or you can actually set those up to where the great room is playing one song and then the outside the patio or lanai is playing another so if you're entertaining guests you can have two different environments in the same home setup. Then our HEOS controls beneath that and then notice at the very bottom edit devices. The one thing that's another thing that's very nice about this remote is that 
you can actually add devices very, very easily. Most devices now, for instance, all of your gaming systems, your Xbox, your Wi-Fi, a lot of the different streaming services, Apple TV, Fire Stick, are gonna be connected to your network. So when you add devices, or edit devices in this case, and you wanna add an additional one, you simply add the device here, and once you press that button, it's first gonna search through the network to see if there's any devices connected to the network that it, that it can connect to itself. And then it will automatically recognize if it's an Xbox, if it's a DVD player, or if it's a streaming device to help you set that up because it goes through and uses those radio frequencies and the IP controls first. And then let's say for instance, if it's an old school VHS player that you don't wanna get rid of, or that cable box itself. That's where the infrared controls on the back of the hub are gonna come in handy because you can plug those up to have access to those devices too. And it will recognize those devices because they are in fact hard plugged into the hub itself. So let's exit back out of this and go back into our main screen here. And another nice feature about this is when you wanna talk about programming and editing any of your devices or functions or scenes, and I know it can be a little bit hard to see up here at the top, but these three little lines that are in here in the green, when we press those, it actually brings up our settings or our app menu. Now, sometimes you can hit this little fix button if you're having a little bit of a quirk where, for instance, you turn on the TV, but the cable or the satellite does not come on with it. It'll actually go through and try to self-repair a lot of these features before you actually have to try to reprogram or reset up devices. Now, another nice benefit about this remote is you can use it in several different rooms simply by purchasing a few extra hubs without actually having to get the whole system or the expensive remote again. Now, you can actually have one hub in your great room that'll control all the stuff for the main TV and the surround sound and everything out there for when the children play games or for instance, watch DVDs, uh, DVDs or play some movies. But let's say you want to control the master bedroom with this same as well. So at night when you go in there and you have a scene set up to turn off all the lights in the house, but you still wanna watch a little bit of TV in the bedroom, you can actually come in here and simply switch the hub from the great room to the bedroom and then be able to have full control of that bedroom through the same remote while keeping all of your smart home controls uh, effective as well. Now beneath that you have edit and reset, any kind of the personal menu stuff or background information you wanna come in and change Normally you don't want to reset the whole device though because that'll wipe out all of the activities and, and routines you already have programmed. So definitely want to be careful when you go in there. All right, and beneath that, we have the Harmony Setup. Now the Harmony Setup, you can click on that, be able to come in here, resync your devices if one of them seems to be acting a little bit squirrely, or you can set up a new hub, for instance, in that master bedroom to be able to have two different video zones that you can control and then add edit devices and or activities or routines. So this is where you'll wanna come in to add the different devices. So if you, for instance, didn't have a gaming system when this was initially installed by your installer or us, and now you wanna come in and add that device and set up a, a gaming routine. So when you turn on, uh, hit the gaming routine, that turns on the TV as well as the Xbox or the PlayStation or Wii you've just purchased, that's where you can come in add devices and activities and set those up as well too. So I can't go into all the different setups in here because one of the nice features about the remote is you actually can lock all of your activities once you've got them set up. So that way, a lot of times you'll have children playing with these remotes and remember they are touchscreen. It's very easy to reconfigure and change some of this stuff around. So you don't want them messing up any of your scenes or, or routines or programs that you might have set up. So this one is locked out for the showroom, so it only has a couple of different devices, so I don't wanna go through and try to set up any new devices at the moment. But on top of that, remember this is a pro remote, and this is only available from dealers like Connected Home, for instance. So we would wanna come out and set this thing up for you to begin with, and then you can add or change some, some stuff later. But the majority of the devices would be set up at the initial consultation or the initial visit. So now that we've gone over the app, we're gonna roll over and do a quick little live demo in the front of the store so we can show you this remote in action.